大家好，我是一罗明，欢迎回来《世纪帝国四》。那么我们的战役，哎，我们的单人战役来到最后一个了，哎，我们的诺曼人百年战争以及蒙古帝国目前都玩完了。那目前的第四个战役，也就是目前有的最后一场战役，我们见呃那个什么莫斯科的崛起，对。我们见莫斯科，来吧。嗯。Today, Moscow is a metropolis of over eleven million people. But eight hundred years ago. It was a small village on the banks of the Moskva River, a modest settlement surrounded by simple wooden defences. It gave little indication of its future greatness or its ability to evolve through adversity. Moscow was frequently attacked and destroyed, yet each time it rose from the ashes. Stronger and better defended. Its first real test came in 1238. This time, they faced a new enemy: the Mongols. <laughs> Moscow had been largely unaware of the growing threat in Central Asia. Genghis Khan, founder of the Great Mongol Empire, had conquered most of the Asian continent. His descendants continued his work to expand the empire. His grandson Batu Khan led the armies of what would become known as the Golden Horde. Their goal: to extract money from principalities they conquered. One by one, states in the region, known collectively as the Rus, fell to the Golden Horde. Moscow was next. In 1238, the Mongol Golden Horde surrounded Moscow and besieged its wooden walls. It would only hold out for five days. Moscow burned. That could have been the end of its story, but the people of Moscow were resilient. They would not give up their home or their control of the Moskva River, an important trade route. They began to rebuild and strengthen Moscow's defenses. Yet one question remained: Would the terror? Return. From meet Moscow. Oh, Mongol explorers will make this Moscow city become a capital, but the stubborn Moscow people decide to rebuild the city, and this time they want to build it stronger. 木质的就怕火，但也未必哦。有有些木质的，如果弄得好的话，现在的技术是可以防火的。对，是有一定的防火功能，应该说有一定的防火功能。如果真的烧起来了，那那也就没有意义了。我说在烧起来之前，对，不容易不容易烧起来的那种木质的，对，木材啊等等的那个怎么制作我不知道。大家有兴趣的话可以上网上网爬文一下。我确实是。有听说过这类型的，对。我们上一集玩了蒙古帝国，然后这一集就要开始反抗蒙古了。<笑>不好意思，你们的指挥官换人了。
放阵营的，说错。Moscow faced certain ruin as Mongol raiders burned their way through the wooden city. With no other Rus coming to their aid, it was up to the people of Moscow to drive away their attackers and beat out the flames. Remaining Mongols were driven away by the tenacious Muscovites. With the Mongol raiders repelled and the fires extinguished, the Muscovites began rebuilding. The Muscovites knew that they could rapidly construct buildings out of wood, and so gathered what they needed from the forest. Готов. Куда? Путь. Рублен.
Тихо, часов. Дряво. Копия готова, да. Готова есть. Что? Да. Построен есть. Жду и дон. Зидание. Several villagers had fled during the Mongol attack, and some were still in hiding. Копийщицы, готовить. Жду. Часо. Тихо. As the city rose from the ashes, the Muscovites would lay the foundations. For a unique fortified complex, this iconic structure would be known as the Kremlin. Ревник есть. Да. Скачок. Влага есть. Вот ищется, Сань. Готов есть. The woods surrounding Moscow provided an abundance of resources, but danger lurked within. Predators stalked in the shadows looking for an easy meal. The once unassuming village of Moscow had been rebuilt as a city poised for growth. But to protect the city from further Mongol raids, it would need a fierce military and a strong defensive perimeter. Чего делать и надо было? Дело есть. 
The Muscovites knew that the terror from the steppe could return at any time. The fleeing villagers had taken refuge in forest hunting cabins. Here, the Muscovites could bring valuable animal pelts, which provided them a good livelihood. Having been caught off guard by the Mongols before, the Muscovites knew they could come under attack at any moment. Strong defenses would give them a better chance of protecting their city. Wow, 
Садитесь на коней. Каковина Казисыч, возродай. Двигайтесь на прем. Копейщицы, блядь! Копейщицы, кредите! Войни, исправляйтесь! Идите! Стреляйте меня! Работа ждет. Радуйся. Я построю сие. Войне, надо бы найти. Войне, исправляй. Ладно, есть. Готови есть, сделаю. Ладно, есть. Ходим. Войне, Я здесь. Слушайте. Hearing the foreboding beat of the Mongol war drums, the Muscovites braced themselves for another raid. Надо найти. Делаю, что верено есть. Вот 
За Франю готовляйтесь. Muscovites had successfully defended their newly built city against the Mongol raid. Now that Moscow could defend itself, its rulers looked to expand their influence into new territories. And you on the. 蒙古帝国这一些人只是先发部队而已。对，如果正常，对正常的压下来，应该就聚，早就聚聚了。
Horse archers were elite troops who galloped into battle, shooting their bows from the saddle, arrow after arrow after arrow. The key to horse archery is being able to fit an arrow to the string, draw it back, and release very, very quickly. Horse archers use a special device called a thumb ring, and this gives us a special technique to lock the arrow onto the bow and shoot. With the thumb draw, the arrow is placed on the right-hand side of the bow. And so taking an arrow from the quiver and onto the string was extremely efficient, allowing horse archers to shoot in rapid succession. The three main shots are the forward shot, the side shot, and the back shot, also called the Parthian shot. Both Moscow and the Mongols had a horse archery tradition that stretched back for centuries. Their armies were well matched with these light and versatile troops, and their conflicts were characterized by the horse archers' fluid style of warfare. Horse archers were famed for their surprise attacks. In Moscow's armies, they could be deployed rapidly in many different terrains and then appear as if from nowhere. In addition to being expert with their bows, they use both javelins and swords for close quarter fighting. Attacks could come from any side, so horse archers had to shoot both left and right-handed. Shots taken behind the head offered additional variety in the angles of attack. They were also expert at swarming across an enemy's front to decimate his lines. They were quick to retreat and just as quick to renew their attacks. Horse archers were Moscow's crack troops. They patrolled the borders and held them against invaders. Hola,那今天這一集就到這啦,謝謝大家觀看那小屋的影片幫按讚加訂閱,有什麼想看的遊戲可以在下方留言告訴我,我就要去啊。嗯,就下期見,大家不不。